when this squared off little crossover with unmistakable mini styling cues debuted a few years back. It came as a relief to everyone who used to grumble, if only that Mini Cooper were a little bit bigger. Although it's still a pint-sized vehicle by crossover SUV standards, the 2016 Mini Cunt treatment still offers the practicality of her doors and an adult-sized back seat without giving up the charm that drew people to the Mini brand in the first place. The cunt treatment's elevated ride height and available all-wheel drive also shoot down another potential if only for shoppers in snowy climbs. Behind the countryman's rear seat backs, you'll find about twice the luggage space of the automaker's regular Cooper hatchback, notwithstanding the latter's growth spurt in current third-generation form. Although the standard 121 horsepower engine is pretty feeble, the spicier S and John Cooper Works JCW model features strong turbocharged engines that we recommend stepping up to. The Countryman's sport-oriented suspension delivers the responsive handling you'd expect from a model wearing the mini badge, albeit at the cost of the usual cushy crossover ride quality. As with all mini models, the options list is long and deep offering a seemingly endless array of customization possibilities. If you're after a smooth ride and a truly spacious interior, we suggest looking at more traditional small crossovers like the 2016 Ford Escape or 2016 Mazda CX-5, which still handle quite well when pushed. Is your heart still set on a Mini? In that case, don't miss the all-new 2016 Mini Cooper Clubman, which now has for proper doors and lacks only the countryman's commanding ride height and optional AWD. If you're prepared to spring for the top of the line countryman, you might also consider the all-new 2016 BMW X1. But for classic Mini character in a roomy, all-season package. The 2016 Mini Cooper Countryman is bound to hit the spot. But its styles, trim levels, and options the 2016 Mini Cooper Countryman is a small, five-passenger crossover slash wagon available in base, Cooper S and John Cooper Works JCW trim levels. The all-for-all wheel drive system is available as an option on the Cooper S and comes standard on the John Cooper Works. The base countryman comes standard with 17-inch alloy wheels with run-flat tires, automatic headlights and wipers, heated mirrors, roof rails, remote keyless entry, automatic climate control, leatherette premium vinyl upholstery, six-way manually adjustable front seats, split folding rear seat backs, cruise control, ambient interior lighting a tilt and telescoping steering wheel, push-button ignition, a chilled glove box, Bluetooth connectivity and a six-speaker audio system with a CD player, HD radio, the USB port and an auxiliary audio jack. The Cooper S version adds a turbocharged engine, different exterior trim, dynamic traction control bundled with an electronic limited slip differential fog lights and front sport seats. The Cooper S all four adds all-wheel drive. The high-performance John Cooper Works model is similar to the Cooper S all four, but features a more powerful engine, 18-inch wheels, a sport-tuned suspension optional on base and S version special styling details and cloth upholstery. A long list of options including many of the higher trims standard items or lower trims provide seemingly endless opportunities for customizing the countryman. Highlights include 18 or 19 inch wheels, adaptive xenon headlights, rear parking sensors, a dual paint panoramic sunroof, leather upholstery, heated front seats, an auto dimming rear view mirror and power folding side mirrors, satellite radio, a 10 speaker Harman Kardon audio system and a wide variety of exterior and interior trim pieces, graphics and color, themes.
Also available is a media package that acts a 6.5-inch display inside the central speedometer. A corresponding console mounted joystick. Voice controls and smartphone app integration. A navigation system can be added for an additional fee. Power trains and performance under the hood. The entry-level version of the 2016 Mini Cooper Countryman gets a 1.6-liter inline-four-cylinder engine that produces 121 hp and 114 pound-feet of torque. A six-speed manual transmission is standard, while a six-speed automatic is available as an option, with power flowing to the front wheels either way. Mini estimates that the base countryman accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 9.8 seconds with a manual transmission and 10.9 seconds with an automatic, which is subpar for a small wagon or crossover in this price range. On the other hand, according to EPA estimates, the Manuel base countryman gets a lotable 29 miles per gallon combined 27 city slash 30 to highway with the automatic fuel economy drops a bit to 27 miles per gallon combined 25 over 30. For more satisfying performance, you can move up to the Cooper S countryman which uses a turbocharged 1.6 liter for cylinder that delivers 181 hp and 177 pounds feet of torque. Front wheel drive is standard, and all wheel drive comes on the Cooper S all four version. The same two transmissions are available with either configuration. In Edmunds testing, a manual Cooper S all four accelerated from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a much more engaging 7.6 seconds. EPA estimated fuel economy for the Cooper S Countryman is virtually unchanged with this gutsier powertrain. The front wheel drive Cooper S is rated at 29 miles per gallon combined 26 over 32 with the manual transmission and the automatic version gets 28 miles per gallon combined 25 over 32. Fuel economy drops slightly with all four, 27 miles per gallon combined 25 over 31 for the manual and 26 combined 23 over 30 for the automatic. The John Cooper Works model raises the performance NT further with a turbocharged 1.6 liter for cylinder that generates 208 HP and 192 pounds feet of torque. All wheel drive is standard. In Edmunds testing, the JCW Countryman with the automatic reached 60 miles per hour in 7 seconds flat. Fuel economy ratings are the same as for the Countryman S all four model. Safety The 2016 Mini Cooper Countryman's list of standard safety equipment includes anti lock disc brakes, stability control, front seat side airbags, side curtain airbags, and a front passenger knee airbag. Dynamic traction control is standard on the S and JCW models and optional on the base countryman. Rear parking sensors optional. In Edmunds brake testing, a countryman S stopped from 60 miles per hour in 117 feet, which is excellent for a small wagon. The John Cooper Works countryman was even better at 112 feet. In safety tests conducted by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, the countryman earned the top rating of good in the moderate overlap and small overlap frontal offset crash tests, as well as in the side impact, roof strength and head restraint slash seats whiplash protection tests. Interior design and special features inside the 2016 Mini Cooper Countryman you'll find a seating that's much roomier than in the hard top hatchback. The rear seat feels positively cavernous by comparison, and it slides and reclines for greater comfort. Until the arrival of the second generation Cooper Clubman, the Countryman was the only Mini model that could carry for six-footers in genuine comfort. That's still a strong selling point given how cramped the countryman's size peers tend to be.
when it comes to cargo capacity. There are 42.2 cubic feet of space available with the Countryman's split folding rear seat backs folded down. With the seat backs in place and the seats slid back all the way, storage shrinks dramatically, though it should still be enough for a grocery run. Either way, the Countryman's cargo hold is noticeably less spacious than other small crossovers. It's the price you pay for the car's tiny footprint. From an aesthetic standpoint, the Countryman's interior is pure mini with all the distinctive elements made famous by the previous generation lineup, including the oversized center-mounted speedometer and the shiny toggle switches. The downside, of course, is that the functionality of this layout often leaves something to be desired. The current, third-generation mini cars have overhauled interiors with relatively straightforward ergonomics and improved materials. So the countryman is a throwback, for better or worse. Driving impressions the 2016 Mini Cooper Countryman may be the big one in the family, but it shares many of its smaller relatives' endearing traits. With its higher center of gravity, it'll never feel as quick and nimble as a Mini two-door hatchback, but the responsive handling and precise steering still make it plenty fun to drive. The ride quality